Fun Fibonacci Activities This short film is an introduction to the Fibonacci number sequence. We hope it will inspire ideas and activities to explore at school or at home. The children's artwork showcased here was made by pupils supported by their teachers and in collaboration with visual artists. What is Fibonacci? Who is Fibonacci? Fibonacci was a brilliant mathematician who, in the 13th century, presented a special sequence of numbers, at first to solve a mathematical problem involving rabbits, but has become a beautiful way to explore numbers in nature and in art. In the Fibonacci sequence, each number is the sum of the last two. By introducing one from nothing, we can start the sequence to make another one, and that number to the previous one to make two. Add the last pair to make the next, and the last pair to make the next, and so on. So, starting from... One. We add... Zero. To make... One. We then add the one and one together to make... Two. One and two to make... Three. Two and three to make... Five. Three and five to make... Eight. Five and eight to make... Thirteen. And so on. Amazingly, these number patterns can be found in nature, such as numbers of seeds in fruit, the spirals of shells, flower petals, and the formation of pine cones and pineapples. Look for these number patterns yourselves. Make drawings of your discoveries. The sequence can be represented by blocks of squares cut from graph paper. The rectangle produced is called the golden ratio or the golden section. The spiral produced when expanded outwards at the same measured sequence is called the golden spiral. Returning to the graph paper blocks, let's replace each one with coloured card. Let's pause for a moment. What do you notice about this text? That's right, each line follows the Fibonacci sequence. It's a fab Fibonacci poem. Can you create your own Fibonacci poem? Can we think of something creative we can do with it? Here's one idea. We can rearrange each line of the poem onto the blocks from the smallest to the largest. We can experiment with the shapes of the text. Here is another idea for a simple activity using the coloured blocks. We can add stripes of a contrasting colour to each block to make a striking composition. Continuing with the idea of a Fibonacci poem, perhaps the lines on this grid could be used to make an epic class poem. Alternatively, perhaps it could be used as a backdrop to display all the class drawings of fruit, seeds, plant, flowers and pods according to the numbers on the grid. Or both. These children made circles from coloured paper using the Fibonacci numbers to measure the widths of each one and then animated them on a tablet with a stop motion app. They also added Fibonacci poems.
This school created an animated story about a snail's journey of discovery. There once was a little snail which had a one by one house. One day he grew too big for his house, so he had to get the biggest number that he knew to make a new house. The number was one. Then he learned a new number, which was two. He grew too big for his house, so he b built another house with the biggest number that he knew, and it was three. Uh, he grew too big for his house, so um, he built another house, and it was the biggest number that he knew, which was five. They also look at other number systems like Mayan number symbols. The Mayans made their own way to represent numbers. The number zero looked like a cell. Zero. One. Two. the way to Thirteen. This class looked at how Fibonacci might be used in architectural design to create their ideal house. These children were inspired by Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man to create wire sculptures based on the proportions of a child. The Fibonacci sequence represented by painted and stencil canvas tiles using complementary colours. As you can see, the creative possibilities are endless, just like the Fibonacci sequence itself. Lots of ideas to consider. We hope you feel inspired to come up with and develop your own Fibonacci activities. Be creative and have fun.